guys, welcome back to Red Flower Farms. So today's soap, I am making a lost mitten soap. So this soap is going to be a layered soap. Right now I'm mixing my clay into my oils. Um, I think it's gonna have eight layers and it's going to be red and white, interchanging layers. I'm gonna mix all my ingredients up first and then I will be adding the lye as I go. The fragrance oil I'm using today is peppermint and it smells so delicious. I love peppermint. So the first thing I need to do is divide my oils into two because I'm making two colors. Alright, now that since that's divided into two, I'm adding the colors. This is titanium dioxide, and that's going to make this one white. And then the next color I am using is from Nurture's Soap Supply, and that's Real Red Mica. This is the best red I have come across that's actually truly red. Now, after this is all mixed up, I'm going to start dividing it into fourths. The white one goes into, is going to get divided into four, and the red one is going to get divided into fourths. And the lye milk solution is divided into eighths. I'm adding my lye solution into the white right now, and I'm going to mix it up all together and then pour it into my mold. Here's my tall and skinny mold. I love this mold. It is clear so I can actually see the layers and if they're even or not. The tricky thing about this mold is to not get the batter onto the sides of the mold. All right, here I'm measuring out my milk lye solution into one eighth of the total, and then I'm going to be mixing it into the red. But first, I got to measure out the red to one fourth of the total of the red. So let's pour the red into the mold. I'm using a small spoon just to make sure that when it falls it won't break through to the white. But the white is actually pretty hard right now so I don't think it's going to break through. My batter thickens up pretty fast because I use goat's milk in it. Give this a little shake and we'll move on to the next layers. I'm going to fast forward all the mixing for you guys don't have to watch. Do that again. Here it is, all poured and ready to go. 24 hours later, this is what it looks like out of the mold. Looking pretty good. Let's cut it up and then we're going to pipe on the top.
Looks pretty straight to me. Oh, and it smells so good. Let me tell you, can peppermint candy canes are a favorite in my house during the holidays. I remember when my oldest was two, almost two years old, and she woke up and went down for Christmas morning, and what she saw was candy canes on the tree, and that was her favorite. She didn't see all the presents, nope. She just wanted the candy canes. I'll show you a clip after I'm done cutting this soap. So one of our family traditions now is that Santa Claus puts candy canes all over the Christmas tree when he comes and visits on Christmas Eve. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness! Time to pipe the snow on top. I kind of wanted to fall on the side, so that's why I cut the soap first before I piped it. For the glitter, I'm using Super Sparkle Mineral Glitter from Nurture Soap, and this is my favorite glitter to use on winter soaps. It's light and it's sparkly, and it kind of looks like ice or snow sparkling in the sunlight. For the mitten, first I'm going to pipe the thumb, and then I'm going to pipe the rest of the part of the hand. Then we need to put the trim on, and then I'm going to put the string on to connect it. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when my kids go out in the snow and play, they always go out with mittens, but they never come back in with them. They always take them out, and I can't find them until the snow thaws. So that's where I got this idea of lost mitten soap. These mittens kind of look like elf mittens. Maybe an elf lost its mittens when he was helping Santa deliver presents. Alright guys, well I hope you liked the video, and if you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, go ahead, you can go ahead and do that, and then you can get more notifications when I post another video. These soaps will be available on Etsy in about four weeks. I actually just posted my sunflower soap on Etsy if anybody is interested in purchasing one of those. You guys can also check me out on Facebook, and I usually post uh, my latest soaps on there as well. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.